Hi everyone, this is Kim from the Palo Alto Networks community team bringing you a new Palo Alto Networks video tutorial. In today's tutorial I will cover application filter traffic reports. This question popped up uh, in our discussion forum. Uh, a user was asking if it is possible to create traffic reports based on the application filter. So without further ado let's move forward to the firewall and I will clarify his question. So first, let me explain what exactly is an application filter. So once you are logged on to your firewall, you can go to the Objects tab, and on the left side you will find Applications. So click there, and you will get the uh, default view of all the applications, right? So displaying 2,443 applications. Now, a uh, filter, you can add a filter here, uh, you can add your custom filter, or you have the default filters right here. So there's category, subcategory, technology, risk, and characteristic. So by selecting one of the uh, filters, it will immediately change the amount of uh, applications below. So for example, uh, let's select a subcategory gaming. So you see that the application list below immediately changes and updates to the selected criteria. So only showing you all the applications with the subcategory equal to gaming. So the question was, is it possible to create a traffic log report based on these criteria, based on these filters? So it would be cool to create a traffic report for the subcategory gaming and immediately showing me all the logs for all these applications. To clarify the question even further, let's go to the monitor tab. Notice all the columns here. If you click one of the arrows here, you have the possibility to add even more columns. But notice that none of the application filters are a selectable option they just aren't there. So based on that you might assume that it's not possible to create a, a traffic log report based on those criteria. So luckily we have a thing called custom reports that can come to our rescue for creating such a report. So on the left side at the bottom click manage custom reports and let's go ahead and create a new report. In this video, we'll continue using the subcategory gaming as an example. So let's call the report subcategory gaming. And let's change the database to the traffic log database, the summary database traffic. Notice that the available columns changed. And let's go ahead and add a few more so that our uh, end report will make more sense. So let's add the application in there. For reference, let's add the uh, application subcategory as well. Uh, but in the end result, uh, those should only be uh, the subcategory gaming. Let's add the day so we know when it happened. Let's add a destination address. Let's add a source user so we know who was actually going there. That should be okay for now. So let's move that day to the top. There we go. Now we do need to add a filter to uh, specify that we only want results from the subcategory gaming. In order to do so, let's uh, select the application subcategory equal gaming. Sorry, gaming. Let's add that. Let's also uh, select a bigger time frame. There we go. Now let's do a top 100. Alright, let's click OK. Confirm. 
that we have configured it correctly. Seems okay. And let's go ahead and test this by clicking the Run Now button. Now depending on the size of your report, this can take a little while, but in this example it went quite fast. So notice the generated report and you'll notice while well, in this example we only went to the Apple Game Center or oh, there was also an application World of Warcraft right here but notice that the application subcategory is only for gaming you can move forward by exporting the uh, generated report to uh, PDF, CSV or XML or alternatively you can even uh, schedule it create an email schedule for it uh, and have it mailed to you on a, on a weekly or monthly basis, whatever you, uh, you configure your scheduler to. And this is how you can uh, generate a report using application filters. Don't forget to uh, commit your changes. There we go. And you can start using this uh, custom report. Well, this concludes this video on creating traffic reports based on application filters. As always, uh, if you have any more questions, uh, feel free to add them on the uh, comment section below or ask your questions in the uh, community. Thanks for watching.